Hello everyone, I'm back again. Believe it or not, it's been a while, but uh, welcome to the Starving Electrician channel. Oh, and uh, today we're gonna be discussing how to wire a uh, three-way switch and a four-way switch. I have uh, another video actually physically showing me or showing you how to wire them uh, in the boxes or what have you, but this one here, I'm just gonna explain it to you a little bit, quick and easy terms so that uh, everybody can understand. I know there'd be like, some other questions, and I'm sure some of the electricians will pop in the uh, comments. And oh no, you don't. This is just quick and easy for the homeowner. Don't bash me for it. It's just to help. I'm just here to help. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. All right, there's a couple things that you need when wiring a three-way. One is 14-3 wire. It's called 14-3 because there's three current carrying conductors in it. You have your red, your black, and your white. The ground doesn't uh, carry current, okay? So when we have a three-way, that's what we use between our two switches. These here are the switches. This is the back of the switches. So uh, they don't look like switches, but this is what the back looks like, anyhow. Very simply put, so we have a light here, okay? Our 14-3, we have the two terminals here and the one terminal up top. The one terminal up top is called your common. That's for the switch leg, the switch leg that goes up to the light, or it can be the hot. It's the uh, odd man out, let's just say, okay? So the red and the black go from one side of the terminal to the other side of the terminal. You can stab it in, you can twist it around. The screws, I have another video on that one too, check that one out. So red and black to red and black, and then you have your, let's say you're going to this one, to your light, your switch leg, so you would tie your neutrals together, and so you'd have a white and a black. That's 14-2, okay? Simple enough. And that one goes to that terminal there, your common, right? And the other switch, we say that's coming from the panel. Let's say we're starting that in a circuit. 14-2 up. You already have your red and your blacks tied in. And then your hot goes right there to the common. Simple enough, right? So there's really nothing... Really nothing to it with the 14-2 wire coming through it. Um, there is a trick that you could do if you have, let's say you have your switch leg, your switch leg and your hot in there. Well, what do I do then? There's a trick, a little hack and all. I'm sure I'm gonna catch grief for it anyhow. But your white wire, if you have your 14-3, your switch leg and your hots in there, you would tie your hot to the white in your 14-3 and put it on the common terminal. So you tie your white into your hot. So now in essence, that's just bringing the hot over to here. The rest of the neutrals tie together because you still need a neutral to make the light work. So you tie the hot to the white. I'm not even calling it a neutral because it's not a neutral anymore. So now all you would have in this other box would be just the 14.3. The white wire is now energized and then you still have your two travelers. Uh, so that's a little trick you'd get if, let's say you're, running up the stairs or something rather, you can't get uh, your switch leg up to the box. That's what you do. That, well, you have to identify it as black, put black tape over it, it's acceptable. I've been, I've been doing this for years, 35 years, and uh, the inspectors are cool with it. Now, let me show you something. Okay, when I talk about the uh, three-way switches, here you are, simple as that. I have it upside down like that. There's a common terminal, and then these two. All right, travelers, black and red doesn't matter which direction you go into, and always ground your switches. I've had people comment, oh, you don't have to ground your switches if this or that in a plastic box. Yes, you do, because this is a metal frame. You can get shocked off of the frame itself. You want to ground the, the frame if there's a fault in that. Next, we have a four-way switch. Now, a common thing what people think is, well, okay, I, I've got my black and my black, my red and my red. Do I poke it in the bottom and the top? No, 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 no. You go across from one another. See, because these switches, one or the other is delivering the current to the other three-way switch. It's, it's, so if it's in one position, one terminal will, will bring it to the one switch. If it's in another position, it'll bring it to the other switch. If you put it in both terminals, up and down, flip it off and on, in essence, you're cutting off the travelers and then you won't have any current going to the switches themselves, the three-way switches. So yeah, so 
you go black and red, black and red, and then ground it. And that's in the, that's in between your two three ways. You can have 20 of these because it's whenever, it just depends on the, the position of the switch. If it's up, then the current may travel from this terminal to this one, or if it's down from this one to this one, to the other one, they're just, it's it, vice versa to it, you know, or however you say it, okay, I'm at a loss, but we're not gonna get into that. But you just need to know that that's how you wire them, that's how you put a 14, or I'm sorry, you put a four-way switch in between a three-way switch. So I think we're needed some visual aid. So yes, I magically uh, got transported to my office. So uh, you can see that the scenery has changed, but uh, I remain the same. So what we have is, a, we have my tester here, but it's a, you have a continuity tester on it. Continuity tester, uh, if you have one lead on one side, one lead on the other side of a wire, it shows that it's closed. You take it off, it's open, you'd have an open line. So that's what these testers do. So, well, that's what this does for this. So what I'm gonna show you is on this uh, three-way switch, how we talked about having the common and then the two travelers. So if I were to put my one of the leads on my, excuse me, because it's hard to do, holding them both there, I've got uh, one on my common side and one on my traveler. On one side of my traveler, I'm getting nothing. But if I flip the switch down, it's now reading closed. Up is off. Closed. Now, let me go from the other side, the other terminal. Apologize again. The other side is going to be the opposite. That's not on. Flip it up and that's it. So they work. When, when the switch is up, it might go from here to here. When it's down, from here to here. Okay? In the, uh, in the here's where our travelers were, remember? And then this is our comedy, our hot, our switch leg. But that is uh, how that works. Same thing like I told you about the four-way. Um, how we go across, not like you would stab them in, um, on the three-way switch. So we have one side here with the switch down. Let's see if that's on. Nope, not on. See, so same thing. Same thing, the four-way works in the same way. So one side, it's on. The other side, it's off. It just depends on the uh, how the switch is, uh, what position the switch is. And if the three-way's on or on the up position, you switch on the down position, the other traveler would heat up the other side and then move on to that set of travelers. So, you know, I'm not real good at the technical stuff. Like, uh, well, not that I don't know about it, <clears throat> but to explain it, I mean, I wish I was more book smart. I'm more uh, hands-on, but um, I think you get the gist. I'm just trying to show you how the tester works just so I can prove to you that um, this is how it works when you wire it. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Remember, though, uh, you can go to www.liveelectrician. And, uh, oops, sorry. And you can get me on uh, Zoom calls. You can give me a phone call and I can discuss your projects with you, uh, whatever you might need help with, even down to consulting you about your job or what you think is a fair price for uh, electrical work to be done. I can help you with all of that. And then Sunday, the uh, May 1st, here that's tomorrow for me, um, at 1 o'clock I'm going to do a live Q&A. So whatever you want to talk about. Not too advanced of questions. I mean, I, I, I can't wire your house for you and stuff like that. There's some things that... Uh, it's just it's just too much to explain, and you're 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 better off booking me through Live Electrician. So anyhow, so that's that, and uh, I hope you understood what I was talking about here. I told you to be quick and easy because it is quick and easy. So you like your power going in and out? You can just go in and then out and feed whatever else you're going to do on that lighting circuit. Um, remember, we're just tying all our neutrals together. We have our black and our white going up to the the light, and it works. Um, I have other videos about uh, wiring these and wiring the two-gang switch, three-gang switch, or whatever, so you can learn about wiring them themselves. So that's about it. In a nutshell, I want to thank everybody for uh, showing up because we've been getting great response on my uh, fishing video, uh, fishing wire videos and repairing drywall. I promised you guys one where we're, we're fishing with the fishing pole. That'll come next. Let me just do this one real quick because I have had a lot of questions about that. That's why. 
So again, thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And uh, I got a surprise for you. Are you ready for it? Here we go. Oh, yeah. These pork rinds are fire. Squealing hot by Slim Jim. Hey, I'm not a paid endorser, but I play one on TV. But these things, oh, my God, these are fire. And then you got this Dio Rodrigo Michelada. Man, this is a bomb here, too. Well, I stumbled across these. They're doing samples at the liquor store. Oh, she's at the liquor store? Oh, what are you doing? But uh, this is good shit, I tell you. And uh, I started to try to lose a little bit of weight, but then I found these and... Yeah, so much for that idea. So, but I'll try. But anyhow, I'm not going to sit here and eat in front of you like I did the other ones with the tacos. I hate to gross you guys out. But anyways, uh, yeah, keep on watching. Uh, keep on learning. Like I say, the comments are welcome, stuff like that. I'm just trying to show the basics. If you got something good out of it, let me know. If you're an electrician and you think you know everything because electricians are the worst, they give you the, they bash you. They're just ones. I had one talk about how in 30 years you never had to cut a hole for a wire. Well, he's magic then. He just rubbed that lamp and he pops out. Boop, 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 boop. Shit, why do you need electricians? We got this guy. So, anyhow, so quit your crying, you other guys, you other electricians. I'm trying to show people how to stay safe and how to do it quick and easy. All right? We will check back soon with that fishing video. You're gonna dig it.